The First Book 1. Of my grandfather Verus I have learned to be gentle and meek, and to refrain from all anger and passion. From the frame and memory of him that begot me I have learned both shamefastness and manlike behaviour. Of my mother I have learned to be religious and bountiful, and to forbear not only to do, but to intend any evil, to content myself with a spare diet, and to fly all such excess as is incidental to great wealth. Of my great-grandfather, both to frequent public schools and auditories, and to get me good and able teachers at home, and that I ought not to think much if upon such occasions I were at excessive charges. 2. Of him that brought me up, not to be fondly addicted to either of the two great factions of the coursers in the circus, called Prosini and Veneti, nor in the amphitheatre partially to favour any of the gladiators or fencers, as either the Parmulari or the Secutores. Moreover, to endure labour, not to need many things, when I have anything to do, to do it myself rather than by others, not to meddle with many businesses, and not easily to admit of any slander. 3. Of Diognetus, not to busy myself about vain things, and not easily to believe those things which are commonly spoken by such as take upon them to work wonders, and by sorcerers, or prestidigitators, and impostors, concerning the power of charms, and their driving out of demons, or evil spirits, and the like, not to keep quails for the game, nor to be mad after such things, not to be offended with other men's liberty of speech, and to apply myself unto philosophy. Him also I must thank that ever I heard first Bacius, then Tandasius, and Marcianus, and that I did write dialogues in my youth, and that I took liking to the philosophers, little couch and skins, and such other things, which by the Grecian disciple are proper to those who profess philosophy. 4. To Rusticus I am beholding that I first entered into the conceit that my life wanted some redress and cure, and then that I did not fall into the ambition of ordinary sophists, either to write tracts concerning the common theorems, or to exhort men unto virtue and the study of philosophy by public orations, as also that I never by way of ostentation did affect to show myself an active, able man for any kind of bodily exercises, and that I gave over the study of rhetoric and poetry and of elegant, neat language, that I did not use to walk about the house in my long robe, nor to do any such things, Moreover, I learned of him to write letters without any affectation or curiosity, such as that was, which by him was written to my mother from Sinuesa, and to be easy and ready to be reconciled, and well pleased again with them that had offended me, as soon as any of them would be content to seek unto me again, to read with diligence, not to rest satisfied with a light and superficial knowledge, nor quickly to assent to things commonly spoken of, whom also I must thank, that ever I lighted upon Epictetus, his hippomnimata, or moral commentaries and common factions, which also he gave me of his own. 5. From Apollonius, true liberty and unvariable steadfastness had not to regard anything at all, though never so little, but right and reason, and always, whether in the sharpest pains, or after the loss of a child, or in long diseases, to be still the same man, who also was a present and visible example unto me, that it was possible for the same man to be both vehement and remiss, a man not subject to be vexed and offended with the incapacity of his scholars and auditors in his lectures and expositions, and a true pattern of a man who of all his good gifts and faculties least esteemed in himself, that his excellent skill and ability to teach and persuade others to common theorems and maxims of the Stoic philosophy. Of him also I learned how to receive favours and kindnesses, as commonly they are accounted, from friends, so that I might not become obnoxious unto them, for them nor more yielding upon occasion than in right I ought, and yet so that I should not pass them neither, as an insensible and unthankful man. 6 of Sextus, mildness and the pattern of a family governed with paternal affection, 